Marcus Bado, Terry Bellamy Lee, Alan Blackburn, Pete Booker, Darren Brown, <laughs> David Boyer, Keith Bradley, Peter Brearley, Shirley Capiano, Philip Claxton Boxall, Peter Carlisle, Morris Coates, Andrew Cole, Michael Cole, John Dawes, Anne Marie Doherty, Lou Ellis, and Joan Evans. Thank you. I'll just uh, mention a couple of those people. Um, every life is important, and all those people have, have family and friends who remember them. There's a couple there I, I want to, to note. The first is Marcus Beddo. Uh, he was only 25 when he lost his life to depression. Now, Marcus was one of our first students at the Trust when we ran the futsal course, and he did a BTEC with us. And he went on to Loughborough University where he got his degree as a result of his qualifications. He carried on playing football, uh, and he played for a while at Matlock, and he was still playing at Clipston uh, when he lost his life. So uh, Marcus was one of the ones uh, that we knew particularly well. And the other person from that list is, is Phil Caton Boxall. Now Phil, uh, until his death only six weeks ago, was the chef at, at the uh, uh, stadium. And his partner, Julie, is also a chef here. Uh, so um, our, our thoughts go to Julie, because it's only a little while ago that uh, we lost one of our own from the staff over on the other side. Can I ask, um, Martin to come up and, and read uh, the next set of fans' names. Martin, who's the um, vice chairman of, of the football club. Clifford Goodlad. Malk G. Chris Hanford. George Harding. Terry Hardy. Henry Hart, Lee Hughes, Margaret Jones, Charles Julian, Derek Killingsley Smith, Lawrence King, Dean Kirk, Sharon Love Karen, Tony Madison, Joe Mannering, Stuart Manlove, Paul Mann, Graham Mountain, Richard Mowbray, and Jean Oates. Thank you, Martin. Um, to, to pick out uh, three of those people um, who have, have close links to what we do here, one is Chris Hanford, um, who was a regular in the cafe. Uh, and her partner Ken is, is here this evening and she recently went onto the wall with a plaque. Also on that wall is Derek Kinsley Smith, who was a regular here, particularly for the Armistice Day uh, celebrations. He was part of the Grenadier Guards Association and also played an active part in what we did down here when we were remembering uh, the people who died in the war. He was also a regular over in the lounges. Uh, the last one on that, that list was Gene Oates who people might know was the daughter of uh, Oliver Thompson, uh, the long-time player and, and coach here. So she grew up next to Saltergate there and had lots of the players uh, lodging uh, with the family there. And she followed the team home and away for many years. <laughs> if I can now ask Ian to come up and read the last of the fans. Michael Pashley, Roy Partridge, Sidney Patrick, Glyn Patrick, sorry, Glyn Rodri, Paul Pauline Rodway, Sandra Scott, Charlie Smith, Harry Smith, Mike Smith, Terry Smith, Les Spencer, Mary Stanley, Ron Sterling, Robert Taylor, Derek Powell, Jeffrey Bardi, Rosemary Auntie Mary Thorne, Jeff Vine, 
Graham Whitehead, Roy Willett, Harry Wilson, Peter Wood, Eric Wood, and William Young. Thank you, Ian. Um, for those of you who don't know, Ian's basically the person that looks after this garden for us as a volunteer. We have to know since we opened. So all the pruning, all the uh, basic work here, most of the watering is down to Ian. The fact that it looks so magnificent throughout the year is Ian's doing. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> On that list again, I'll mention a couple of people. Rosemary Vaughan, known as Auntie Mary, was another trust regular, particularly down here on match days. But she's missed by us all, but particularly by Andrea Parkinson from the trust, because she was a mother figure to her. Uh, and she, we lost her a little while ago. Uh, one name on there that actually played for the club, but was never a first teamer, was Graham Whitehead. And he was notable because he was one of the people that played in the uh, Youth FA Cup, uh, alongside Gordon Banks when we played Manchester United in the final. Uh, and the last one I'll mention is Roy Willett, who many of you will know, not just because of uh, manufacturing sweets down Whittington Moor, but because he was um, uh, part of CFSS uh, and the fans group here. And of course, the fact that we had the fans take over with CFSS and what came out of that uh, is this building behind us and possibly the move to this stadium and things like this Memorial Garden. So it's people like Roy that we owe uh, the fact that we're here uh, today. If I can move on now uh, to the players we've added to the wall, and before we go on to the ones we've, we've lost over the last two years, as it is, um, because of the work that Stuart does and Paul Kelly too, who looks after um, the former players and also particularly looks after uh, you know, the players who are still with us, um, uh, we have got some that we've missed the passing of, um, and I'll just go through those. And so there are Harry Wood, uh, Ian Wilson, John Campbell, Ron Ward, Keith Bannister, Philip Beresford, Tom McGoldrick, George Watkin, and David Kelly. And if we actually go on to the ones that we've lost in the two years since we last met here, um, uh, they are as follows. So there's Ken Whiteside, John Lowry, Junior Gogo, Doug Kelly, Jordan Sinnott, John Ridley, John McCann, Richard Dawson, Doug Rag, Harry Lack, Andy Wilson, George Ryan, Terry Witham, Tony Hallam, Eric Wynn Stanley, Len Badger, Ernie Moss and Andy Higgins. Um, obviously, we're going to talk about Ernie in, in a little while, but I'll, I'll, I'll mention a couple of those um, uh, for different reasons. The first one, um, the personal one, it's sorry. First of all, the personal one uh, is, is Tony Hallam. Uh, Tony was with the club for six years in the late sixties. He only played six matches. He was notable for being the first named substitute for the club uh, when they came in, although on that occasion he didn't come onto the pitch. Um, um, let's see Maury here, here, here tonight. Um, now Tony, um, after he stopped playing, he, he played elsewhere um, at local level, but he was a fan and he was a home and away fan. Up until very late on, he was coming to every single match um, here in, in the West Stand. And as well as his, his foot, the football side to it, I played cricket with him. He, he played with several local sides, notably Old Whittington with me. Uh, but also, when he did uh, pass away, it was remarkable that about half the adult population of the town uh, thought he'd been their gaffer at Sheepwich. Um, he seemed to be known by just about everybody. Uh, so um, it, it was very sad to see uh, 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 Tony go. Uh, and the other one we have to mention is Jordan, Jordan Sinnott. Um, because um, Jordan was taken while he was still playing. Um, he obviously started at Huddersfield. He had uh, eight games for Chesterfield uh, and then, then went on to play at Alfreton. He was playing at Matlock when he was tragically killed. And he, clearly he's the, the most recent of the players that's on the board. And that kind of tragedy um, uh, puts 
everything into context. There's plenty on there that um, live to old age. Uh, there are plenty who had um, finished their careers and could look back. Jordan didn't have that, that joy. Uh, and so particularly, I want to note um, uh, the tragic events uh, for Jordan.